to believe boating season is not far off. Grace Bradley takes us on a fly along to see how one Moosehead Lake region business determines the best time to get the boat out. As the weather gets warmer, lakes all across the state will be calling ice out, signifying that the ice is gone and it's ready for boaters to hit the water. So who exactly gets to make the call? From what I was told from Roger Curry years ago, you know, the, the state used to do it, either the Forest Service, which we hear taken off now, or um, the Warden Service would do it, but they got, they're busy doing their own things. So they kind of reached out to Roger years ago and were like, hey, if you want to do that, let us know. And basically this time of year, we fly to Lake and try to make sure it's safe for any boaters going out. To show me how it's done, Paradise flew me up to Moosehead Lake to see if the ice had subsided enough to call. The Katahdin Park's down in town of Greenville, East Cove. Uh, it needs to leave from its port there and be able to go up between Deer and Sugar Islands around the west side of Kineo uh, in its normal route to Northeast Cary and be able to do that without encountering any significant ice. And significant ice would be having to change its course to get around ice. Unfortunately, ice out will most likely wait until the weekend as large chunks of ice still lay in the lake. While we weren't able to call ice out, I was able to try my hand at flying. Since the 80s, Courier's Flying Service has called the ice outs. It's basically um, Sue Courier and I, uh, Sarah, Roger and Sue's daughter as well, it's basically the three of us. With the passing of Roger Courier in 2021, Paradise is happy to continue the legacy. It's quite an honor to be able to do that um, because aviation in Greenville and the Moosehead area has always been a, a staple. To continue that going, it's, it is, it's a blast. I get to play with airplanes every day. It doesn't get any more fun than that. Grace Bradley, WABI TV5 News, Greenville.